What up, fight fans? Main man, main man, back at you with another video. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Now, we are a day away, ladies and gentlemen. We are 24 hours away from the biggest fight in uh, financial fight in boxing history. We are right on the cusp of witnessing the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight, a fight that we have been clamoring for, fight fans, for roughly five years or so. Man. Well, the talk is over, the negotiations are over, the date is set, the fight is about to happen. Man, I've been up all night, ladies and gentlemen, watching up all like the Mayweather Pacquiao videos on YouTube. Shout out to the YTBC, shout out to Ellie Setback for covering this fight. Um, the YTBC did a fantastic job of covering every detail of the Mayweather Pacquiao fight. For those of you who are left in the dark about any details about this fight, I challenge you to go on, on YouTube and just circle and just go around to the different boxing channels and you will get every bit of information you need to know about this fight. Now, my official prediction for this fight, uh, let's get it out of the way. I am going for Floyd Mayweather to win this fight by majority decision. Um... I am taking nothing away from Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, I think, is going to come and give a good fight. I don't. I do think Manny Pacquiao wins no less than four rounds. Um, I'm calling it roughly about an eight to four fight. Um, I think roughly after the fifth round, just like the, the main consensus, I think roughly after the fifth, sixth round, Floyd Mayweather will get Manny Pacquiao's timing down, and then eventually Floyd Mayweather will kind of walk him through the rest of the fight. Um, the thing is, is that the thing that but Manny Pacquiao has a lot of variables where he can make this fight extremely tough. Uh, everyone knows that Floyd's shoulder roll is not going to be the primarily primarily used tool by Floyd Mayweather in this fight. Uh, a lot of people know that uh, giving that Manny Pacquiao is a southpaw, and everyone likes to bring up Floyd's struggles with southpaws in the past, but no one likes to talk about all the other southpaws in which he dominated. So. Um, it all depends on which Manny we get, I think, with this particular fight to, see, to determine how tough the fight will be. Um, it determines to see if 37-year-old Manny Pacquiao still is the same volume puncher, say, as 32-year-old Manny Pacquiao because he is going to need to be that Manny Pacquiao in order to win this fight. Now, Floyd Mayweather, um, he gave, a, 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 he said he has, what, roughly about five things he noticed that Manny Pacquiao does is wrong. I guess the most infamous video that's going around right now is the one when he said he's going to lean to the left and jab. Now, that to me, and then, there's a vid and then the video also shows other fights of Pacquiao, which whenever the, his opponent uh, would shoot to the left, uh, make Pacquiao turn towards the left, and then jab him to make him reset, it was always problematic for Manny Pacquiao. That is just one of the... Uh, Strategic points that Mayweather gave that he will he's looking at and possibly he will use. I think it's brilliant You know what I mean? I think it's absolutely right on the money whenever you spin Pacquiao when you spin him to the left and make him reset He cannot bounce in and out. It takes away his left hand. That is a brilliant brilliant strategy if Mayweather tends to use it um, Mayweather said I do believe that Pacquiao has been reckless in the past and he has not been with a calculated fighter Such as Mayweather now when we did see a calculated punch hit him we did on the button uh, with the guy who put everything he had into it and Juan Manuel Marquez. And I know everybody's going to say, oh, well, me, man, it took him four fights to get that punch in there. Yeah, that's true, but it's still, you know, Floyd counters with that type of accuracy. Now, whether he has that sort of power, that hasn't been seen in years, but it's, I'm saying he still has it. But he counter punches with that type of accuracy, right on the button accuracy. It's going to be all fight long, you know. Um, it's going to be tough to see if Manny Pacquiao can get close to Floyd Mayweather. Everyone says Manny Pacquiao can get in and get out very fast. Well, thing is, is that Manny Pacquiao's aged just like Floyd Mayweather has aged. And uh, and honestly, we have not seen the killer instinct for Manny Pacquiao in his last few fights. Um, he did not finish Brandon Rios. He did not finish Chris Algieri. He did not knock it out or knock down Tim Bradley. So that ferociousness that everyone is counting on that Manny Pacquiao uh, needs to show up as, we haven't seen that Manny Pacquiao in quite some time. Now, I'm not saying that Floyd cannot bring that version of Pacquiao out of him. Sure he can, you know. Um, but, I, I mean, especially for the biggest fight of his career, his so-called rival. Uh, but I just don't see it. It's Floyd, just his skills, man, his skill set. Manny Pacquiao is a fighter. Floyd Mayweather is a boxer. There's a difference. And, and, and when you have a fight with this high stakes, you got to go with the smarter, more calculated boxer here, you know. Floyd Mayweather has, to me, honestly, no matter how much we down the guy in or, out, in or outside the ring, uh, no one has provided the key, ladies and gentlemen. No one has shown a true blueprint on how to beat Floyd. You know, that's kind of awkward. That's funny to me. No fighter he's been in there have honestly showed it. They may have won a round here, may have landed a punch there, but there's no fighter who honestly showed the key 
to how to break the Mayweather code. And I don't think Pacquiao is that fighter, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe not, maybe then, but not today. Pacquiao's style is way more tailor-made for a Mayweather, say, than any other fighter. Now, the thing is, though, I'm noticing, just like everybody else also, that Mayweather seems a bit different for this fight. Some say he's more focused. Some say he's having more tunnel vision. We don't see the shit talking. We don't see the back and forth he usually does. Uh, all the years of him talking shit about Manny Pacquiao, and we're not seeing any of that shit in this particular fight. Um, maybe there's something that Floyd Mayweather knows that we do not know, ladies and gentlemen. But I want to I want to say heads off to the brother, though, for putting on the biggest fight. And not only putting on the biggest fight, but promoting the motherfucker as well. Becoming the ultimate A-side, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, honestly, most people will not agree with this. Close your ears if you don't feel this. But from a black man's point of view, I give two thumbs up to the brother, man. I'm, just, I'm happy to see a brother on top of the boxing world, on top of the promoting world, promoting the biggest fight. Getting top rank out of the way. I mean, I'm not. I'm sorry. Getting Golden Boy promotions out of the way. Whom he's fought his like last five, six fights under, kicking them out the way. Uh, uh, getting or anyone he wasn't uh, vibing with like that on a business level. Getting all the, all those guys out the way. The Fifty Cents and whomever else's. And 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 he's promoting this thing himself. And it pisses Bob Arum off to know he has to negotiate with the fight the guy who used to fight for him. Well, he's done it plenty of times, I'm pretty sure, with Oscar. But in this particular case, Mayweather is the ultimate A-side where he's taking majority of the promotional rights. Heads off to the brother. But uh, prediction-wise, though, man, I'm sorry, folks. I just don't see the road for Pac Pacquiao. Uh, I mean, the straight left hand. Everyone's like, okay, the straight left hand. If Pacquiao comes and he throws the straight left hand, it's uh, 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 Mayweather can't show the role. That's if Mayweather showed the roles, ladies and gentlemen. There's no guarantee. Mayweather not necessarily, he's never fought an entire fight out of the shoulder role. Sometimes he goes to the high guard. Sometimes he goes to the low guard. Then he goes to the shoulder. It's no telling which you may get. He can adapt. He can change. That is something that I have yet to see Pacquiao to do. Pacquiao making adjustments. We get the same one two step Pacquiao. We know he's going to go in, out, different angles, throw all those fucking punches. Um, now, the thing is that Pacquiao is a small fighter. Like I tell everyone, he's naturally a 140 fighter. He's not a 147 fighter. Uh, this can be detrimental, though, for Mayweather because he can be proven to be harder to hit given he's so small. Mayweather liked this jab to the stomach. I predicted a, a jab to the stomach to reset Pacquiao. Uh, will be detrimental to Pacquiao, but can that jab to the stomach really land when Pacquiao is so small? That's been one of the things. He swings from angles, and he's a smaller target. Mayweather is used to fighting bigger targets. You look at his last few fights, Canelo, Madonna, Guerrero. Or, these are bigger fighters. These are all fighters that came in bigger than Mayweather, taller than Mayweather, longer than Mayweather, stronger than possibly Mayweather, you know what I mean? So, uh, in this particular fight, Mayweather is the bigger fighter. Uh, we seen the last time that Mayweather was the bigger fighter against Marquez would happen. I mean, so, um, but, this, but Pacquiao is now a smaller target, though. So that could prove to possibly be detrimental to, 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 uh, to for Mayweather because when he fought Marquez, Marquez did not move as nearly as I'm hoping or predicting Pacquiao will move in this fight. So it could be a harder target for Mayweather to hit, and that, if that chooses to be the case, then that can be very, very problematic because we all know Mayweather has the highest connection percentage in boxing history. If he cannot connect with Manny Pacquiao, if Manny Pacquiao's footwork uh, can, that's the thing I can think he can get over Floyd in this fight too. Manny's footwork will have to be more superior than Floyd's. I know that's a, a tough thing to say, but Manny has great, great footwork. If he cannot dance to, if he doesn't dance to Floyd's beat where he's, you know, Floyd is leaning to the left, and, and turn in Manny Pacquiao. If he doesn't dance to Floyd's beat and he uses his footwork to get in and get out, Manny has a great chance. His footwork can, at this point in their careers can possibly be more superior than Floyd. So I don't know. But I just, uh, like I said before, Manny has a lot of tools in the shed. I think it's going to be a real contentious fight for the first five rounds or four rounds. Um, I think Manny is going to have his moments. Uh, but I think overall, I think Floyd Mayweather takes it. Um, I think he takes it, and I think he takes it in a majority fashion. Now, the thing is, a lot of people are saying that also Floyd has to win this fight very convincingly, um, given that this fight has been built up so long and we've been waiting so long for this fight. Floyd has to make win this fight convincingly. Um, I'm not, as long as he wins the fight, I'm happy, I think. I'm not, I mean, I understand that Manny Pacquiao is a very tough opponent. And for those who out there keep saying it, please, Manny Pacquiao is not number two pound for pound. 
um, in my opinion. He's not number two pound for pound. We all know that spot is still reserved for Vladimir Klitschko. I don't know why people are saying that. Um, but the fact is that uh, Manny has a lot of tools in his tool shed. It will be a contentious fight um, for about the first few rounds, I think. I think Floyd gets his timing down. Um, and then if Manny cannot hurt Floyd, which he has not hurt a fighter in quite some time, but if he cannot hurt Floyd, this fight is going to come down to skills. And I just do not think skill for skill Manny can compete. So it's going to be a good fight. I look forward to the post-fight video. I look forward to the post-fight debates. I look forward to the post-fight videos on YTBC. I cannot wait for this fight to go down. I will be uploading soon as the fight is over, ladies and gentlemen. So please return right here after the fight's over. All right, until the next video with your main man, made man. I'll see y'all then. Don't forget to subscribe. Floyd Money Mayweather is who I'm pulling for in this fight. Majority decision, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how it goes down. Put your prediction in my comment section. All right, to the next video. I'll see y'all then. Peace out.